Hello, everybody. This is Hobo, your favorite starving gamer. Thanks for clicking on that thumbnail and joining me as I continue my one-year quest to play and rate the nearly 1,300 retro video games on Antstream Arcade. Today is day 60. Each day I play four games and give them a simple score just to indicate my first impressions and how likely I am to play some more. Uh, up first, we have Cheese Chase, an arcade game released in 94 by Art and Magic. Uh, life isn't easy for a hungry mouse. Sure, there's plenty of cheese around, but it's protected by beetles, rats, and electricity. Not to mention ice, bombs, and lava. So, turbo button so you move faster, and later levels you get a spray can and use that to get past obstacles. all the cheese these are doors you can open ice will make you slide into lava there's a timer the beetles will kill you I like the uh, graphics, they're pretty cool. Oh man, what the hell? I was doing this a lot better when I was trying it out. Come on, I can't get past that beetle. Points for extra points. If the ice is right next to the lava, you'll slide into the lava, but you can change directions. Game over. Not easy. Well, that's basically it. Uh, not a bad little sort of isometric puzzle game. Um, graphics are pretty good. Uh, sound effects are fine. It's, controls are pretty good. I think that just sneaks onto the A tier. Up next, we have Chaos Rising, a uh, 
isometric puzzle adventure game, kind of in the style of the original Zelda game. And this is a retro-like. It was actually made in 2018 for the Amstrad CPC system. Help Amy puzzle her way through more rooms and pathways in a search for jewels in the sequel to A Prelude to Chaos. And we played Prelude to Chaos a couple months ago. Action button drop bombs. So you can go up to things and search them. Nothing here. Can't get past that. You're looking for jewels. Once you get enough jewels, and you'll progress. And you're trying to destroy the chaos chips, something like that. So I did figure this out. To get that jewel on the left there, there's spikes. And you move these blocks. Music's pretty great. to get bombs to clear obstacles. not great but I like the retro like vibes it's ice I guess hmm. I don't know but that's basically it just a little puzzle game basically with a little bit of uh action and mixed in you know it's it's not great it's not my type of game so but it's not horrible so i'll get, put it on the b tier and here is part two released in 2021 pretty much more of the same for jewels and then you, that'll unlock air paths and then you looking to destroy the chaos chips so there's a jewel there and that's a hole we fall in Not sure how we get past that are scary indeed. A jewel, so yeah, that's basically it. Not not a bad game, not great, but uh, you know, I think B tier is a good place for it. 
And finally, we have a, another uh, retro light game released in 23 by Low Tech Games for the NES. Uh, Choo Choo Mimic. Play as a hungry mimic, mimic in this head scratching puzzle game where you have to guide unsuspecting knights to their doom, lay down traps to get all the knights to the mimic, and try to collect each level's three coins for an extra challenge. So he can only turn left. That's important. So we select one of our tools up top. Hit A on the Xbox controller. So he's going to automatically start walking forward. This will make him walk down. And this, this way we're getting the coins. Try to do that for extra challenge. Then he's going to walk and turn here. And then he automatically turns left if he hits a wall. And he's able to turn left. So that should do it. And then we hit the play button. And we feed him to the Mimic. So he'll walk up here, turn left hit this. Since he can't turn left, he's just going to go backwards. And then he'll turn right here. Then when he gets down here, he's going to turn left here. Again, if he hits a wall or a box, which we have three of these boxes, he'll he'll turn left if he can. So one here. So he'll turn left here. He'll turn left here. So that's basically the game. It's uh, some more type of tools are added, more obstacles and enemies and stuff. But uh, it's I think it's really solid. Uh, awesome that people are still making NES games. Uh, graphics are good for the the NES. Sound effects and music is great. Controls are easy to understand, and it's a lot of fun. So I think that goes on the A tier. So that is our four games for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the playlist at the end for some earlier episodes and have a good day.